Welcome to today's Mellow Yellow practice. We're going to treat the whole body with some TLC. Prop-wise, you can have whatever you like to you normally have at home. Sometimes two blocks can really come in handy and a blanket for floor work um, if your body needs it. So with that, take a good seat, close your eyes. And just settle in for a moment, quiet your mind. Take to heart that you have this stretch of time here to be with yourself, to clear the plate, if you will. You might imagine a, a fresh palette, a painter just approaching this canvas with nothing on it. And there's no agenda. It's just exploration and freedom here. Notice what you're bringing to your practice today, what your needs are. Welcome all of that. Honor that. When you're ready, blink your eyes open. We'll meet on tabletop, all fours. Notice how just a couple of quiet breaths can change your state. Spread your fingers, tuck your toes, and do some circles around your wrists. It's important to spread your fingers so you're distributing the weight around the surface of the hand. And we want to create a kind of banda in the hand. This is a term uh, like a dam, the yogic term for like a gathering of energy. Go the other way. So we're pushing the floor away as much as we're gripping down. And you can let your shoulders in on it, your ribs in on it, your hips in on it. Really let your body lead you as you stir the pot. And find your way to just kneeling here with your toes tucked. You're going to slowly walk your hands back. And I like to bring fingertips to the floor and just a couple times lift and tap, lift and tap. Spread your toes. So the soles of the feet, the tissue on the soles of the feet is getting some hydration. And now as you lower your knees, sit upright. And if it's too much, you can always point your toes or sit on a block. Now tuck your thumbs into your, your fists, if you will, and do circles around to the right and around to the left. Right, left. Right, left, right, left. And then open the hands wide, spread your fingers, palms forward. Keep the spread, fingertips down. Up, down, up, down, up, down. Now turn your hands out to the sides and down, and then turn all the way in. Down and in. We're doing external rotation, internal rotation. One more. And then shake your hands out. Take them overhead. Big shake, big shake. And come to all fours. Point your toes and feel that beauty, that release all the way down. Inhale, reach your left arm high. Take another breath here. Feel long through your head and neck. And as you exhale, thread your left arm under. So your shoulder and head come either to the floor or a prop if you need support. Take a moment to breathe wide across your back. Press back through your right hip. This area can get pretty congested, pretty tight. These broad muscles of the back can uh, keep a limit on our breath capacity. We should breathe not just in the front of the body, but the back, the sides. Good. Now begin to straighten through your right leg so the toes are tucked. And you're pushing the floor away like we did with the hands. Root down. See if you can start to lift your right leg up and turn it to the right. Spread your toes. This is a fun pose, like a metaphor for yoga. <laughs> Just the right amount of effort and ease. Create boundaries. Hug and get strong. And then see if you can come on right fingertips and maybe peel the right arm to reach to the sky. It's okay if you can. You could keep the hand and foot down. One more breath, reach, lengthen, embrace the wobbles, and then hand comes down, foot comes down, knee comes down. You'll unravel, reach your left arm high again, and now reach it forward and all the way downward. Inhale, reach the right arm up, breathe, stretch. Press down through the left hand to open through the right collarbone and fingers. On and out breath, thread through. Place your shoulder, your head down with care. Grab a prop if you need it. 
And just breathe here. Wait. Let the body respond. Feel the breath. Press your left hip back. Ground into the floor as you're lifting out of the floor. And perhaps straighten your left leg. Toes are tucked. Pause. We're not rushing. Then lift from the inner thigh like you have a little puppet string. Lift up, lift up. And once you come to the hip height, rotate the foot to the left. Flex the toes. That'll bring more awareness and more capacity to stabilize. Maybe come on left fingertips or reach your left arm up. Big stretch like a little paper moon dangling from a string. One more breath. Have fun with the wobbles. Have fun with the challenge. Place your left fingertips down, left toes, left knee. As you unravel, reach up, look up, and then slowly circle the right arm around and in front, all the way down. Now bring both hands, another handprint forward, tuck your toes. You're gonna arch your seat, so lift your tail to the sky and meld your upper back down. So you're connected in your shoulder joints as you exhale, downward dog. And feel what's here today. Take a moment to slowly walk out your dog. Breathe. Layer by layer, you're opening up the body. We start out pretty contracted, right? Mentally, energetically, physically, and we get to enjoy the process of expanding again. We forget, we remember, we close, we open. Full stretch in your downward dog. Feet are separated hip bone distance. Look forward, tiptoe to your hands. Take your time, bend your knees as much as you need to get to the top. And again, when we say feet hip bone distance, you might measure out two fists so they snuggle in between the inner feet and then fold. Hands could be placed on blocks on the front of your shins or on the floor. You're meeting your body where your needs are today. If you're someone who does 200% all the time, I really want you to back it off. Like, don't overwork anything. We're not here to just use our effort all the way. We're finding balance. How do we bring that off the mat is the real inquiry. Inhale, lengthen and look forward and give your legs a sweet hug as you press your inner thighs back and wide. And exhale, fold. You might feel as if you're pulling your feet apart. Inhale again, halfway lift. And now circle the arms wide and all the way overhead. Stretch up, full blast. Enjoy like a morning stretch when you wake up and you just know how to do it. Your body knows to hug in, to get strong so you can stretch and lengthen. Take your time folding forward on your exhalation. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step the right leg back. And now ground the heel. So when you look at your feet, truly your front heel aligns to the middle arch of the back foot. And the back toes turn in a little bit. Now stack your left forearm on your thigh, your right hand to your hip, and lunge more deeply. Look at your left knee and track it over the second and third toe of the foot. So you're lining up not only your knee here, but your hip. This is a hip opener and leg strengthener. Get bright through your spine and your upper body. Lengthen there away from your hips. That also frees up your hips. Give your legs a hug. Feel the tone there. That will increase heat and circulation. Now move your pelvis back behind you. Start to slowly scoop your left sitting bone, left buttock under you more. And reach your right arm up and all the way over the ear. Look from the inner arm to the sky as you stretch and reach. So you feel a lovely long line from your back heel through the waist, side body, all the way out through your fingertips. Take your time, press to stand up, parallel the feet, and then turn to the second side, exhale, bend. Once again, form to thigh, hand to hip. Notice I'm not collapsing into the form, I'm pushing away. So there's this 
ability to be bright and spacious in the upper body, reaching out away from the hips. Look at the front knee, ground the heel, track the knee over the second and third toe. Keep that as you move the pelvis back. Give your legs a hug. Move the pelvis, the groin space back, and widen your sitting bones. We're opening up the pelvic floor, the insertion of the hamstrings here. Now see if you can articulate, scoop the right buttock under so you don't just jam the tailbone forward, the right hip comes under more. And then reach through your left arm, vibrant stretch. That sweet spot, the bullseye point between just enough effort, just enough ease. You should always be able to breathe. Your body is intelligent and responds more to the wisdom when you're in communication with it, when you're not forcing. Inhale, reach to stand, parallel your feet, hands to the waistline. Lift your sides, roll the shoulders back and look up. Find a little moment here of a back bend. Breathe. Press through your feet to lift your sides. Keep the good length as you fold right down the middle and you'll slide your hands down the edge of your legs all the way down the shins, maybe to your ankles. Pull in, let your head hang wherever it is. Turn the pelvis to the sky, ground your heels to the earth. As you pull your lower legs in, widen your upper thighs out. Powerful way to open up your leg channel. Inhale, look halfway forward, bring your hands to your waist again. Roll the shoulders back, hug the elbows behind you. So you're strong in your upper back as you inhale and stand. Turn your heels and toes out. Inhale, reach your arms up like you're hanging from a hanging bar and then sink into your pelvis. Bring your head upright so you're not leaning your head forward. Your ears are in line with your upper arms. Sink down and now lift your heels and pulse. Feel your sacrum and tailbone lengthening to the mat so you're taking out some of the arc in the lower spine. Go deeper and hold. Heels are up, sink, and then press the floor away. Stand and ground your heels. Lower your arms, parallel your feet. Now. Heel toe in, a little shorter stance. Turn the back foot, right foot in as much as you can, and then left foot 90 degrees. With hands on the hips, tone your legs. Press down through your hips and lift up to your chest like before. Take your time and fold. You might go halfway forward and stay there or continue coming all the way to fold over your left leg where your hands could come down to the floor or blocks. Parsvottanasana. Stay strong in your legs. Feel the muscles hug in and lift up. Bring your hands back to your waistline, shoulders back, elbows back. Inhale, half lift, all the way lift. Parallel the feet, stay narrow. Turn the left foot in as much as you can, then right foot 90 degrees. Inhale, get tall, get strong in your legs. Keep the strength as you fold halfway. Try to lift your tailbone and pull your right hip back. Maybe fold all the way, reaching your chest away from your hips. Take your time, maybe bring your hands down low. Keep pulling back to your right hip. Forward through your left hip. Breathe into the sensation. Feel that you're freeing up this energy, letting more blood flow, more energy to flow. You're strengthening and lengthening at the same time. Look halfway up, hands to the waist, shoulders back, elbows back, press to rise. Parallel your feet and step them all the way back in. Take a moment, relax your arms. Mountain pose, breathe. Stand on your right leg, tree pose. So you can always put your right hand on the wall. 
You're going to hold the ankle and bring the foot to the upper inner thigh or below the knee. Inhale, reach up. So you're lifting not just arms, but the sides of your body lift. Root down to rise taller. Find that lovely dancing edge of effort and ease. If you're, again, a AAA personality, I want you to back it off. I want you to do less. You can feel your breath more. So you can feel the joy of the practice more. Exhale, release back to mountain and switch. Left toes are straight ahead as you balance the weight there. Place the foot with care so the heel is up. Toes are straight down. That will help open up your hip. Reach your branches. Lift your inner body bright. Feel your breath. A soft gaze at an unmoving spot will help you to balance. Row your tree a little bit more by rooting down to rise up. Exhale to release. Squat. So take your feet a little wider than your outer hips. You can always sit on a block. Turn your heels and toes out. And as you come forward, you're hinging at the hips. You can let your knees follow the toes. Knees follow the toes. Hands in prayer. Lift your heart. Inhale, stand up, press the floor away. Woo, I know. If that felt wide, you can narrow in a little. Slowly exhale, squat. If your heels come up, you could put a folded blanket under them. Inhale, stand. Feel free to narrow again if you feel that would be helpful. Squat down. Building leg strength. And this time we'll have a seat. Take your legs nice and wide, face the wide line of your mat. As you stretch out, take a moment to use your hands under your calves to pull behind you and then go to the upper leg in three segments, above the knee, mid leg, and all the way up to the glute and the inner groin. Go to the second side and you'll feel how the first leg drops down more. So you're turning the inner leg down, sitting bone wide. Upavishta Konasana. So you could stay seated upright with hands in front or behind. Press your thighs down. If it's available, come forward. This is similar to what we did in the standing forward fold with wide legs. Press your thighs towards the ground. Dig your heels into the mouth. Spread your toes and flex. Find the sweet spot of being active and finding ease. You'll find as you settle into it, the body will begin to shift and the tightness starts to release. Over time, things really profoundly shift. You can't see the micro shifts maybe day to day, but if you've been practicing for a while, you know Maybe certain poses weren't accessible, and now they are. Does add up. Walk your hands in. Keep your left leg straight. Cross the right leg all the way over. Stamp, stamp the foot on the floor to the outside of the leg if you can. Otherwise, heel in line with the right seat. Hug your left arm around the knee and twist. Right hand behind you, fingers turning away from you. So that instead of doing this, where you collapse, you can sit up tall and widen your collarbones. If you want a little more, take the elbow to the outside of your leg, press forward with the arm, turn back through your spine. Inhale to rise, and we'll switch sides. So you can open the right leg wide, left leg over, and hug the knee. On an exhale, twist. Both sitting bones are anchored, Breath is flowing. Feel free to cross the elbow to the outer leg. Did a nice whole body practice today. This is the final wringing out the washcloth, if you will. Inhale to release. And now come all the way onto your back body where you can hug your knees to your chest. 
It's nice to end in symmetry after all of the asymmetrical poses. Just be soft, close your eyes, relax your shoulders, your jaw, and then slowly find your way to a Shavasana position. Stretch out. Give your body a little shake so things can settle down as if you're in sand on a beach and your body would make a deeper impression into the ground. Feel your mind like a fist and slowly just open up the fist. Let your mind get more spacious, unclenched. Feel your body doing the same gesture, energetically spreading out and opening. This is one of the greatest gifts you can give yourself, this assimilation time. To remember our practice begins when we step off the mat. How do we bring balance of effort and ease to everyday life? How do we let things flow? How do we show up for what we need to show up for, but without grip, without control? Stay as long as you can. Be sure to subscribe so you never miss one of the new classes put out weekly. And we love to hear from the community. Leave your comments. And we'll see you again on the mat next time. Namaste.